Before we proceed further and talk about the conditional statements like if else, switch, etc. in JavaScript, let's learn about the different model windows which a browser provides and which we can make use of in our JavaScript code. These model windows we can make use to show some message to the user or to get some input from the user. So in JavaScript, there are three model windows and these are alert, prompt and confirm. We have already seen the alert model window and how we can display it and how it works. We also have prompt and confirm model window in JavaScript, which we are going to talk about in this lecture. Now, before we talk about model windows, one thing you need to remember about model windows is that when a model window appears in your browser, the user cannot do anything else as long as that model window is there. The user cannot interact with the rest of the page like scrolling up or down or clicking a button, etc. as long as the model window is there in the browser. Only once the model window is closed, then the page becomes responsive again. And I will show you that with an example. So let's start with the alert model window. So the alert model window is used to show a message to the user. And you can show the alert window to a user using alert function in JavaScript. And the message which you want to display is passed as an argument to the alert function. Let's see this with an example. So to show an alert window in the browser, we use alert function and the message which we want to display in the alert window, we pass it as an argument to this alert function. So for example, here, let's say, welcome to JavaScript course. If I save the changes and if we refresh the page, you will see an alert window has been displayed here and in the message it says welcome to JavaScript course. And you will also notice that when this alert window has been displayed, when this model window has been displayed, the page is now unresponsive. You cannot do anything in this page. And you will see that nothing has been rendered here in the web page. Because when this alert window will be displayed, it will make the page unresponsive only when this model window will be closed and that we can do by clicking on this OK button. So when this will be closed, the page will become responsive again. So when I click on this OK button, the page has become responsive again and the web page has been rendered now. So this is very important to understand that as long as the model window appears in your browser, the web page will become unresponsive. Only when the model window is closed, after that only, the page will become responsive again. So to display an alert model window in the browser, we use alert function. Now, let's talk about another model window, which is prompt. The prompt window displays a message and an input field to the user. And you can use JavaScript prompt function to show the prompt window. Now, we use prompt model window when we want to get some input from the user. Let's understand this with an example. Let's comment this code. And to display a prompt model window, we use prompt function. And this prompt function takes two parameter. The first parameter is the required parameter, which is the message which you want to display to the user. Let's say here we want to display, please enter your age. Okay. And the second argument is an optional argument. And this argument is the default value. So if the user does not enter any value in the input field, the default value will be returned by this prompt function. But if the user enters some value in the input field, that value will be returned. So this is an optional argument. If you want, you can pass it. If you don't want, you can leave it. So for now, let's leave this second argument because that is optional and let's save the changes. And you will see that a prompt model window has been displayed here. In this prompt model window, you have an input field and you have two buttons, OK and Cancel. So whatever you will enter inside this input field and when you will click on this OK button, that value will be returned by this prompt function. OK, so what we can do is whatever this function will return, we can store it in a variable. Let's call this variable age maybe because here we are asking the user to enter his age. And let's go ahead and let's log that value in the console. Let's cancel it here. Okay, let's save the changes. And now when I enter 12 here and when I click on this OK button, you will see 12 is logged 
let's refresh the page again if i enter 12 here but instead of clicking on the ok button if i click on the cancel button you see when we click on the cancel button this prompt function returns null so null will be assigned to this age and you can see that null is logged here and let's refresh the page again if i don't enter anything here and if i click on this ok button in that case empty string will be returned and that empty string has been logged here now here let's say if the user does not enter any value in the input field in that case we want to return a default value let's say the default value is 18 so if the user does not enter any value for this age by default we will return 18 currently when we are not specifying a default value in that case if the user does not enter any value in the input field it is returning empty string as you can see here so now if we save the changes and you see by default 18 is displayed here if i click on this ok button without entering anything that 18 will be returned so now if the user does not enter any value in the input field it will return the default value but if we don't set this default value in that case it will return empty string if the user does not enter any value in the input field and click on the ok button and when the user clicks on this cancel button this prompt function is going to return null okay so we can use this prompt function to display a prompt window and we display the prompt model window when we want to get some input from the user like here we want to get the age of the user and once the age is entered by the user in the prompt window we are storing it in a variable and later we can use that variable to do something we can use it to execute some logic so when we want to get some input from the user we use prompt window now we also have another model window called confirm now the confirm model window is used to get a confirmation from the user in the confirm model window we show a question to the user and we show two buttons ok and cancel if the user clicks ok button then the confirm function will return true but if the user clicks on cancel button the confirm function returns false let's try to understand it with an example one of the use cases where we can use confirm model window is when we want to delete something when we want to delete some record from the database but before deleting the record we want to get a confirmation from the user whether he really wants to delete that item or not for that we can use this confirm model window and there we ask a question let's say do you really want to delete this item okay now this confirm function it is going to show a model window in the browser where it will display this question and it will display two buttons ok and cancel if i save the changes you see here we have the question do you really want to delete this item and we have two buttons ok and cancel if the user clicks on this ok button that means the user wants to delete the item so he is confirming that he wants to delete the item in that case this function will return true otherwise if the user clicks on the cancel button that means the user does not want to delete the item so in that case false will be returned by this confirm function so what we can do is we can store that value in a variable so let's create a variable let's call it is delete so this confirm it is going to return us a boolean value and we are storing that boolean value inside this is delete variable and let's go ahead and let's log the value of that variable in the console let's save the changes so do you really want to delete this item if i click on ok you will see that true will be returned by this function and that is assigned to this is delete so you can see this is delete is storing true okay but if i click on this cancel in that case it is going to return false this confirm function is going to return false and that will be assigned to this is delete variable and based on the value stored in this is delete variable that means based on the value which this confirm function has returned we can execute some logic so here if the user has clicked on the ok button that means it is going to return true so if this is delete is true we will write the logic to delete the item otherwise if the user clicks on this cancel button that means the user does not want to delete the item so this confirm function will return false this is delete will be false and when this is delete will be false we will not execute the logic of deleting the item i hope now you understand the use case where we can use this confirm model window and just like alert and prompt 
when this confirm model window appears in the browser it makes the web page unresponsive the web page will be responsive again once this model window will be closed that we can do by clicking on this ok button or cancel button now there are two limitations of these model windows which is displayed by the browser first of all the location of the model window is determined by the browser and usually it's in the top center so if i reload the page you will see that the model window is displayed at top center so this position is fixed it is determined by the browser and we cannot change it and also the look and feel of the model window also depends on the browser you cannot change it we can create our custom model windows and we will learn how we can do that using javascript in this course but if you want to use the model windows provided by the browser then these are the two limitations you cannot change its position and you cannot change its look and feel so these are the three model windows and they are used in javascript now we are going to use some of these model windows in our coming lectures to get the user input also to display some message to the user so that's why i wanted to cover them first before moving on in this course this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day